How are you doing ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we are going to continue with S715, S7 series PLC, I always keep messing that up, and today we are going to be adding a switch to our network because we are going to be expanding, so, uh, and we are going to need more Ethernet ports than just connecting directly to CPU. So for that, we're going to be using a, a, a Siemens Skylens XB005 a Ethernet switch. This is a basic unmanaged Ethernet switch. And there's nothing special about it. You don't have to use Siemens. So you can use any manufacturer's switch. I often, most, only recently start using Siemens, but I often use uh, these guys, which is a Hedgeman. Hedge Again, very basic switches. There's, it's just maybe built for industrial and things, I don't know. But you use this in the home all the time. So what we're going to be doing now, we're going to be using this guy connecting our, uh, uh, our laptop to it. We're going to connect our HMI to it and we're going to connect our CPU to it and then going into the uh, 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 TI portal, set our HMI up, uh, get the communication going with our CPU and uh, create a very, very basic program. Load the program in, make sure everything's working and yeah, and check it out. That's what we're doing today. So without further ado, let's get started. So before we get started, let's see, we have a quick look at the switch itself. So this is the switch in here. As you can see, I have two of those uh, switches in here. So that's for the future, just in case I need them. And I'm pretty sure I will uh, for all the things I'm planning to do. So uh, as you can see in here, so the switch has got five ports. And uh, one, uh, this guy in here is going to PLC. This one's going to HMI. And this one's going to my, uh, to my PS PC. That's it. There's nothing really, really to it, guys. Most of us already know what the switches are and how they work. So that's that's how you would when you see these things in the panels. Uh, they're just a standard Ethernet switch. It's nothing too too special about it. Obviously, there is more advanced ones, but uh, for that we're going to talk about it in the future. For now, we stick to very basic unmanaged switch. So that's pretty much it. It's a 24 volt DC supply. Standard three, uh, standard standard, standard uh, power supply will do. On that. To switch, so let's jump onto the TI portal and get this all going. So, here we are. So, uh, this is the continuation from uh, ish previous video. So, as we can see now, we have removed digital input card. Me being a bit of a small doofus, uh, thinking that I have because remember, guys, I'm in the sales business. I had I thought I had six cards and uh, I sold five, and I watched out, and I only had five, so we lost that card. So, don't worry, we have backup plans for this in the future. So, tomorrow, we have digital output. Analog input and analog output cards in here for now and our profi bus cards. So uh, to add a HMI to it, so what we're going to do, we're going to go into new, uh, go into HMI in here and then click in a uh, comfort and then select what series or what comfort panel is. My one is a seven inch one. So and, and my one is just the first one. Just check the part number and uh, make sure that is uh, the uh, case. So as you can see in here is a version number. So we probably let's have a look at the uh, nodes. I can't remember, it shows you the version number in the diagnostics or not. So we're going to go check it. So I know this is the, the HMI, as you can see in here. That's our, uh, that's our uh, IP address for it. As you can see, all my IP addresses says 192.168.0 and 0 and 0. So it's all them says only the last digits are changing. Do make sure anything's part of this network, make sure those uh, three, three sections of the numbers are matching and only the last ones are not conflicting. So are different so because if you are having if you can have a confliction with the subnets, you have problems with communication. So let's go show show HMI. We've discussed these things already before, guys. I'm not going to repeat myself far too much. So I know this HMI has been a. Uh, let's go into what can we see in here? We can't see anything in here. Uh, statistics board. Oh, we're not going to be able to see anything in here. So uh, to check that one, guys, there's a video I already made about uh, TP700 uh, when we're going to be when we're checking out the systems uh, uh, systems files inside the uh, uh, inside the uh, HMI itself. So do check out there's a video for it. So uh, yeah, where were we? So let's get back in the other new device HMI uh, convert seven inch and I know for a fact I am 16 because I already updated it for this video for it so so 16 uh, version which basically it's your uh, TI portal version so let's click OK 
And the first thing it's going to be asking you is uh, select a PLC. And obviously our PLC is PLC1, which is this guy in here. So you can see the name of it. So, and we click OK. So now he knows who he's talking. He's already basically established a communication with it. So that's for the start. So every, all these in here, guys, all these, I tick them all off. I'm not going to use any of them. So uh, that's, again, you have to choose yourself. Is a screen layout, alarm screens, and system screen. Well, I don't need any of this for now. So I'm just going to click and finish. So there we go. Our HMI now appears. This is what I like about a... Uh, uh, Siemens uh, software portal everything is all in one so here we go that's our screen let's get rid of uh, this guy in here so and then go into device configurations and level look at the network and as you can see there's a communications between these guys already so they know that they are part of the same network so then there's a pathology we're gonna be talking about pathology in the future not at the moment we don't need to do anything in this screen so having done that we're going to go into the, we're not going to do anything in here. Eh? Just going to go straight into adding buttons to our screen. So then we are going into a toolbox. This is where pretty much uh, is a good starting point for any anything you want to start doing with HMI. And we're going to choose the button. We're going to add just two buttons just for the sake of it of this video. And, and those two buttons are going to be from uh, this program in here, which I already have. I uh, created it in here. So as you can see in here, we have a system on, system off, and it's going to a system running signal. It's going to be our Q0.0 on our uh, PLC. So it's going to be just latched in. And that will be a good starting point for us. So uh, let's go back to root screen. Text. Let's increase that one like a yeah, that'll do. So that one. Put down there, not that there. What we're gonna do, we're gonna copy it and we're gonna paste it one more time. So we just, I thought you would do that. Again, guys, remember I'm no programmer. I know enough to get by. So uh, there we go. Uh, is there a way to align it properly? I'll tell you one thing, I'm not gonna spend one more. One, uh, I'll do. Oh man, this uh, this is really gonna annoy me now. Here we go. That was alright. Can you do that in there? Can you do that? Oh, he does. Look at that. Boom. Not even the same level. But anyway, so I haven't done that. So let's go into properties. And in here, properties. So we're gonna start with that. So in here, in a general, we can select our text. So basically what text is gonna be in here. That's what it, there's a lot more other stuff in here, guys. There's so many people doing uh, programming videos. So do check them out. I'm not gonna be showing you how to program HMIs because that's just gonna, that's also a different subject. So we're gonna say a system on, there we go. So in this, and we need to go to in events and we need to get, tell him an event, all right? So it's gonna be press because we're going to be pressing it, and what action. So let's go in here, let's select what action is going to be. And uh, it's, it's usually it's going to come up like this. If we, uh, you're going to go edit bit, because it's going to be a bit that we've been working with. And uh, as, as you said, bit while key is pressed. That's the key one, that's what we want. So we do want to uh, click it, and once we remove the finger, it will just uh, unclick itself. So uh, that's what we want. So then we're going to need to choose the tags. So this is where I like how integrated everything is. We, I haven't set up any HMI tags for now, that'll do, but we're gonna jump straight to PLC itself. So, uh, and click default tags. And as you can see, all these tags now, the ones we saw down there, are here now. So we are able to have access to them. So let's say system on, there we go, and just click a tick. And voila, and that system on button now is set. So, and then go back to properties in here. We're gonna say that one as a, uh, system off, bang, and then we're going to go in events, and do exactly the same what we just did, so uh, click the best bit that one, yes, thank you, click on that one, and uh, oh, uh, tell him to be system off, look at that, how simple is that, it's quite straightforward, you can create, you can create, literally going in here, so jump back in here, uh, do your programming as oh I want to put something straight onto the HMI jump back on your HMI and just carry on so 
Cool, I like it. I like this integration, it's really, really good. So uh, I think we set all this up. I really don't like the way it's, I'll tell you one thing, I'm gonna put it here. Here we go. Is that better? Yeah, there must be a way of aligning properly, but that's for another video. So once we have created this file, so first thing we'll need to do, we need to make sure we uh, send this configuration into PLC as well. PLC must know, oh, there's a HMI. I need to communicate with this guy. So uh, that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna load it in. So, and then load, finished. So, okay, now we loaded all that into, uh, all this configuration we just did into a uh, CPU. And the same thing, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do in, uh, in uh, uh, this lot in here, we're gonna be pumping into the screen, as you can see that button in here. So now it's gonna be looking for the HMI. So we're gonna search. It knows it needs to look for the HMI, and that's exactly what he's, what he's doing. It shows, you, it shows you in here. So that's our IP address, remember? IP address can be, again, there's a separate video of how IP addresses can be configured and things like that. Guys, do check out, there's a TP700 setup videos. So, uh, and load it in. So, I haven't done that. So, as I said, if you would have a runtime, a you know, OS update and a runtime update, so it would take a lot longer, but this one's going to be fairly, fairly quick. So let's pump that in. And what we're going to do once we've done this one, we're going to jump back on the VLC and make sure everything is working as it should do. If there would be any problems, it would tell us. So double check that. Let's go online, make sure it is all singing and dancing. And voila, as you can see, we went online and everything is green. No errors. Happy days. So I've done that. So I'll see you back on the actual PLC. Right, here we are. So there's our screen. As you can see, that's what we just uh, just created. So if everything went well, see this guy in here. Remember the Q I said, the Q0.0? .0? So that's the one in there. So if we click on, that should be on. And it is. You can see that it lit up. On off on off and that ladies and gentlemen is uh, how we get ourselves going with the tp uh, 700 hmi let me just swap the camera and that will do for this video the key key aspects are of all this make sure your subnets are correct and everything is able to communicate easily with each other we're going to be progressing this bit more in the future videos because i think in the next video i'm pretty sure i'm going to need some digital inputs we're going to be adding et7 et 200 sp to our network and check out there's other cards we will want to check out as well i'll show you how to do so yeah that'll do for this video guys if you enjoyed the video don't forget to smash that like and do subscribe if you're new to the channel and if you like what we're doing here and i will see you in the next video